Welcome back. I'm excited to share five duct issues that affect comfort. We're going to cover undersized and oversized duct work, duct leakage, poor supply air outlet coverage, and everyone's favorite, inadequate return air. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week I'm going to talk about five duct issues that affect comfort in the home. I'm going to lead this off with undersized duct work. Of course, this becomes a restriction when the system is undersized. A lot of times this happens on replacement duct systems or when somebody started using rules of thumb and did not design around the correct friction loss. Undersized duct work in the supply will actually raise the static pressure and typically decrease the volume of air that a PSC motor or even sometimes an ECM motor can overcome. When you have undersized ductwork, it's not just that you're getting less capacity to the space, it's obviously not going to be able to cool the air or heat the space the way it was designed. And it's gonna be noisy. On the flip side, oversized ducts seems like a great idea, right? You can move large amount of volume of air through an oversized ductwork. Ah, the problem is when it's too large, the velocity is too slow. So yes, you're able to move the same volume of air, but since it's moving so slow, it's really hard when you get to the supply register to throw the air into the room. Oversized ductwork actually is a detriment to heating a space with a variable speed system, particularly heat pumps. If the air is in contact with the duct for a long period of time and the ductwork is outside the building envelope, you're actually going to cool the air, let's say in the heating season, if that ductwork is in the attic, more than you'd want to by the time it reaches the end. Let's hope you have really good duct insulation. <laughs> but number three, that insulation isn't gonna work very well if it's just leaking. Leaking ductwork is very hard in order to pull the air back from the condition space, not the attic or the basement, and deliver the air to the condition space, not the attic outside the building. And when there's, let's say, more than 10 to 20% of air leakage going to a space, it's gonna be impossible to balance that duct system out. Duct leakage in a basement could drastically increase the amount of latent load that you're adding to the system and may actually compound issues particularly during the cooling seasons. Now, when that air is moving very slow, when it hits the supply outlet, which is number three, you're gonna get poor mixing in the space. Now, if we're talking about a supply register that's at floor level, throwing into a room in air conditioning, you actually want that register to throw the air all the way up to the ceiling in order to properly mix in the space. If you don't, because let's say the fan speed turns down for a variable speed system, or you did not update those registers and you just added air conditioning to a furnace, remember those registers were designed for heating, then you're gonna see a performance issue in the space. You're gonna have hot and cold spots in that space that's not gonna be properly stratified. Typically, you're looking for at least 350 feet per minute when the air hits the register in order to throw the air into the room. Any faster than that, and it could whistle or make noise, any slower than that, and you're not gonna be able to mix the air in the space. This is why people prefer to select four-way registers when you're talking about an attic-based system and to throw the air a shorter distance to all walls within one room when you locate it in the center. Now, everyone's favorite, inadequate return air. When the ductwork is too small, you are choking an air conditioner or furnace. Inadequate return air is a number one problem when you talk about AC add-ons. But remember, it's not just the duct system that you're seeing near the furnace or air conditioner. It's also getting the air back from every space that you provided air to. You want a balanced house. You don't want to depressurize, let's say, a hallway and try to force the air back from the supply registers that are in all the bedrooms upstairs. If you do that, air has to come from somewhere and a lot of times doors are not undercut enough or there's no jump ducts installed in order to get that moist air back to that coil. If you cannot bring the air back to the coil, then you cannot remove the moisture in the room. It's never gonna be comfortable. So inadequate return air is probably the first place I would look if you're not able to remove the moisture that you expect within the space if you've already set up the system correctly. All five of these items will affect comfort in the home that directly relate to the duct system. But 
Sometimes it's not just the duct system, it could be a sizing issue or a commissioning problem or a balancing problem that's part of commissioning. It's not always the duct system and it's not always sizing. Very important to remember in order to help you diagnose these problems. Thanks for joining me this week. I'm Chris with HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.